Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the channel and here we are again with another infinite money glitch at the butcher. So it's back, it's a little bit less rich than the one we found it in this channel uh, last time. Um, this one is only going to give us seven dollars but it's very very simple. Uh, it's you know rinse and repeat, just come in and out of the butcher you'll be earning seven dollars non-stop. Okay, so now with the glitch, um, preparation. So we gotta go and look for a Florida Panther. Uh, you all know where they are. If not, I'll show you on the map. So it's south of Rhodes, and that is the exact location where the Panther will spawn. You just gotta walk in with the horse slowly, uh, and the Panther will spawn. So as usual, we will be using, or I recommend we use the bolt rifle. Uh, you stay on the horse until the panther sort of um, drops you or forces the, the horse to, to, to drop you into the floor because then the panther will just move away a few meters it will give you a chance to aim um, and, and kill it with one shot so you just gotta wander around this area I think is over there so, so we'll just walk a little bit closer until we see a red dot on the minimap uh, and we should see it very soon because the panther was just over there. So um, once we have the panther uh, killed, we will go back to Rhodes. And I uh, remind you all that this is a co-op glitch, so you will need a friend. Um, and therefore, uh, on all these glitches, as I always recommend, and given that the solo lobby glitch still working, I will recommend you that you prepare a solo lobby before you start the glitch. Right, so we're back with our three star panther uh, back in Rhodes, and we're going, we're heading to the butcher where our, my second character, and in your case, will be a friend, most probably, unless you have a, a more than one PlayStation or Xbox. Um, to, because we will need the help uh, of a friend to be able to, you know, to uh, do this glitch. So our friend, uh, in this case my second character, will grab the panther uh, from the back of my horse and put it into, uh, put it onto his horse. Uh, there I'm sure I'm showing you that we're already on a solo se session or a solo lobby. Uh, so. What we will need to do, as you see there on the back, is, uh, and I've used that in a previous video, is to, again, block the, the horse from being able to, to move freely because we're going to hit circle and, and, you know, asking him to, you know, forcing him to go away, not asking. Um, and, and we just don't want that to happen. So we're going to lock the horse or block him by putting them inside or in between those, those uh, wooden... Uh, poles or wooden sticks so my other character is just um, getting the, the horse close and is going to grab the, the panther and put it on the horse or mind you I'll, I'll do that so it doesn't really matter who, who puts the panther on top of the horse uh, for the first time so um, so that's what we'll do and then he will work his way back into those that part of the just behind the butcher to block the horse um, before he he does the same maneuver that I explained in my previous video and the, and the goal is to uh, make the panther fall off the horse uh, when the horse is trying to to get away um, once we've done that and the panther falls on the ground that panther will, will keep on the side because as soon as the horse uh, comes back with another panther uh, we need to redo this part of the this this uh, move so so our second character or my, or my second character and your friend will have to do this again how was this done so very simple it will our our friend will leave l2 pressed and we'll press circle to try to send the, the horse away and immediately very very fast and it's very important as, as soon as you hit circle you hit square to take the panther and you hit square again to put the panther back that needs to happen fairly quick I mean if you take a lot of time then the panther carcass will come back um, in, in poor state these things can happen too so it can disappear even though we've done it fast even though the horse was trapped for quite a long time 
um, it could just disappear. Not a big deal. Uh, it's just going to make the horses a bit more nervous because the carcass that is going to come back is going to be perceived as if it's alive by the horses. Uh, but it's not a big deal. I mean, it's just a little bit of, you know annoying because the horses just keep on uh, jumping and or running up and down. But um, it's not the glitch is not um, necessarily uh, missed at this stage. So we'll we'll do it again. So so our friend is to check though that the carcass is still in good state, like in good condition, so in perfect carcass, like three star. Uh, so that they can do by stepping out of the horse and, and just uh, clicking on the uh, right D-pad, and and it will show you, you know the what you have on the horse, and it will show you what the state of the carcass is. Um, and there there it goes. My second character is trying to block the horse again in between those poles uh, so that he can then do again the L2 circle square square uh, to, to do the move. Um, sometimes it could be a bit tricky to, to get the horse right on the right position, especially if you want to do it uh, very close to the butcher. Um, I mean, there are places, there are plenty of places to do this, um, but obviously it's very convenient if you can get it uh, right next to the butcher. It will save you a little bit of walking. So, okay, so the horse is blocked and um, second character or your friend is gonna do it again. He's gonna press L2, leave it pressed, press circle and quickly press square uh, and press square again, put the, the uh, panther back on the horse. Horse trying, trying to escape and ultimately it will drop the carcass as we will see now boom in the floor so that um carcass we're gonna as i said put aside for a second because um our friend will call the horse again his horse and he will come with the carcass again um on the back of the horse so we're gonna swap this one that has just fallen off the horse we will swap it with the one that has come back um, uh, on, on the back of the horse. Um, so there's the horse, comes with another panther on the back. So we're gonna swap it with the one that just fell off the horse. So our friend can, <clears throat> our friend can just take that one off. And we will take the other one um, and put it, put it on the back of uh, our friend's horse because he's got to do the whole move again with this carcass. So we have to duplicate another one um, and that's what he's gonna do. So um, we will grab uh, the panther um, and put it back on the horse. I'll do that, just to be clear. So that's the one that fell off the horse and we just swap it with the one that came. As a do. Right. So, once again, very tricky move. A little bit tricky. So don't don't be impatient because uh, if you do it right, then you don't have to do it again, and and you'll be duping um, and making money uh, at a very very fast speed. So. We're blocking the horse again, we're putting them in place. Um, I'm trying to get close so you get a good view of it. Um, and once it's blocked, the uh, second character will step out of the horse. Um, and we'll come around and, and do the whole thing again. So, I mean, I've explained it in the previous video, it's fairly simple. <clears throat> you leave L2 press, press circle, press square, press square, and just try to block the horse a little bit. And they will ultimately, the horse will ultimately drop the carcass. And there it goes, it just fell right behind the butcher. So that second carcass that has fallen off the horse, is very important. This is the one that we need to, um, basically take the pelt off. I do recommend though that um, we wait until 
our friend has whistled and the horse has arrived uh, because sometimes uh, if you start um, taking the pelt off um, the panther um, it might break the glitch so um, you should just wait until you see the horse and then you can go ahead and, and take uh, the skin of the panther um, so that <clears throat> carcass that we've taken the pelt off um, that one will go on our shoulder when we go into the butcher as you saw at the beginning of the video um, but what's important now what our other character my other character or your friend will need to do is that the panther that has come on the horse the second time they've done the glitch of, of sending the horse away that one has to go on top of our horse of the horse of my uh, main character and that's all set basically I mean the horse could be a bit nervous as I said because the panthers um, are identified as being alive by the horses so they can be a little bit of a pain so as you just just get on top of one of your horse and just try to calm it down and, and put it in a place where he cannot uh, move much uh, or not be tempted so, so this here in, in roads you know right next to the butcher tends to be okay so we will grab as I said the other carcass the one that has no pelt um, and then we're ready to get into the selling uh, process so we'll just enter the butcher and we'll see two we'll just sell and then we press circle to come out of the butcher and then we go back into the butcher and sell one and go back out and we just gotta get a position so that you can go really quick and you'll see how quick it is. So we just go in and out, in and out. We'll be selling one um, carcass at a time. I mean, we can't really sell the other one. So, so there's um, no danger there. Um, so as you can see, the speed at which we will be making $7 is quite uh, fast and it's quite simple once you've done all the setup which is not very difficult, you just need to be a little bit patient, it can be a bit tedious, uh, you will probably fail a few times, so, you know, it's all worth it if you want to make good money, uh, you'll be learning from your uh, failures, um, and I hope, uh, in any case, if you have any additional questions, you can always write them on the comment section, I will answer and I'll help you out. But very important, if a friend, if your friend falls off the session, you will no longer be able to continue. Uh, you will both be able to do the glitch if you do it inversely in the same session, but you will always have to be both in the session. So that's all for the video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.